Anyone who hits level 20 before 1.1 can have access to the majority of this team, and as long as you follow the tips in this video, even if you don't spend a dime, you can have an absolutely incredible team. So let's get started on how to make the God Squad for free-to-play players. Hey everyone, Mtast here, and I have a treat for you. I know that there's a lot of people that play Genshin Impact and they're free-to-play players. You don't want to spend money or you can't spend money. You want to earn your characters yourself, but you also want to play endgame content and slap. Well, guess what? I've got a team for you. It is incredible, it is strong, and I have a couple of easy variations you can make if you would like to because maybe you don't like a character here or there, or you get really lucky on your wishes. You have to remember that every character in the game gets currency. You all get uh, primo gems that are going to allow you to summon characters. You're also given different antiquated fates and different things like that through the game and through the mail system. So you're going to have the ability to summon. So we can't pretend that you're not summoning at all, but there's a way to make your team absolutely insane, guaranteed. Let's talk about it. Now, just to test this before I made the video, I went and beat every boss in the game with this team of three. Yes, I know you can use four people. Yes, it would be even stronger with four people. But I wanted to be damn sure that this team of three could beat every boss in the game. And I steamrolled them. Now, Shangling and Barbara are given to you essentially at level 20 for free. You do have to do an activity to get Shangling, but you are given both of these characters for free just from playing the game and leveling up to level 20. Now, Fischl, if you look at Fischl, she is dropped in the Venti banner. You can see all of these characters in the Venti banner have upped rates. What this means is if you get a four-star character to drop, there's a much more increased chance that you get the Barbara you get Fischl, or you get Shang Ling. Now, if you get a five-star drop, which is inevitable after 90 witches, uh, wishes, there's a 50% chance you get Venti. That means that you could throw in Venti into this team and make it even more cracked. Chances are you would get him, but even if you don't, there's other five-star characters you can get in this banner. So let's say you hit the 90 rolls and you get Mona, she would still be great. If you get Dialuk, would be incredible. Uh, but any of these characters will work for this build. Now, the big one here is Fischl. Fischl is one of the four-star characters with upped rates, and so mathematically, hypothetically, if you guys are wishing on the Venti banner, you would have a team with Venti, Fischl, Shangling, and Barbara. Chances are, if you're constantly wishing on the Venti banner, you would have this team, and you would also get multiple drops of each of these characters. Meaning that your Fischl, long term, might have a maxed out constellation like myself, which will add a whole bunch of damage. But by focusing on one banner, you would have access to this team and multiple constellations and passives available. You know, if you could max out Fischl, she gets insane, she gets two extra seconds on her summon, extra attack damage as electric damage from her summon. You know, this is something that you can chip away at long term and, and hopefully make some really good progress because you do earn a lot of Primo Gems. You are going to be making quite a few wishes if you play this game and you focus on wishing. Now, as you can see, even in this party, I'm not even leveling up Barbara. She's so good at level 40, I, I don't even really need to. I will eventually. I've got another team that I use for the most part, but I wanted to show off that even if you're not leveling up some of your characters the way I am, you can dominate. But there's one particular tip that I have. Now, I went over an entire video about how to do like 10 times the amount of damage that the average person is doing, uh, and that is focusing all of your resources on one character. If you look at my Fischl and you look at her details here, all of her artifacts have attack damage on them. They've got maxed out, I've leveled them up as far as I can, and I've focused all my resources on a main DPS character. She is out doing her basic attacks the majority of the time, and the other characters are just using their abilities. So if you are a free-to-play player that doesn't have a bunch of resources, you don't have a bunch of, of experience and things coming in, you need to make sure you have one person who does all of the damage, or the majority of the damage. One of the other reasons why Barbara is insane is because of this three-star blue weapon. 
you're not gonna really attack with Barbara that much. She heals, she's got AoE heals, she can keep you alive. You're not really uh, attacking too much with her. But what you can do is use this item, and when you swap to a different character, they get a massive 48% increased attack damage for 10 seconds. Now this can only happen every 20 seconds, but that's perfect. You use Barbara, you heal, you swap to another character, you do a whole bunch of DPS while they're healing, and then you go through your rotation of abilities and elemental reactions, you come back to Barbara and it's off cooldown. You will literally just swap to Barbara quick, you get those juicy heals, and then your main DPS trucks everybody. And if you don't want Fischl to be your DPS, you can just make Shang Ling your DPS. She's a good little character, does quite a bit of damage. So if you want her to be the DPS, you can do that as well. If you randomly get a five-star character, if you get Diluc or something like that, if you get really lucky, that's fine. You can swap them out at any time, but you've got a guaranteed way to have at least a good party setup, and you can then build your damage on whoever you think will do uh, best for your team. So you have a little bit of time, but if you get to level 20 before 1.1, which is the new update, I don't know exactly when it is, it's rumored to be in about, you know, a week and a bit, you get Barbara. Now, if you go down here, there is the People's Choice. You get Shang Ling for beating Floor 3, Chamber 3. You have to be level 20 to unlock this, but this is a very easy thing. So you can get both those characters for free. So one of the reasons why this team is so damn good is because of the elemental reactions that you can do. By mixing electricity and water, you get the electro damage over time that chains. The electro charged effect is insane if you have big clumps of enemies and it will continually chain. If you're fighting water enemies, you can just automatically proc it with Fischl, but by adding Barbara in, you have both of those available. Stop advertising to me, QuickBooks! Now the other big one is Overloaded. By doing fire and electricity, you get the Overloaded, which is a huge explosion. This is really good for chipping away at armor and shields, and between the Electro Charge and the Overloaded, you've got most of what you need. Now, if you can throw in another character that kicks major butt, maybe you're doing Venti and you're getting Swirl for some extra damage, or maybe even a Cryo character, uh, you can start doing some pretty nutty things. If you do have a Cryo character, you can actually do the Superconduct, which gives you area of effect damage, but it also reduces the target's uh, defense, so you do even more damage. Because I want to be free-to-play friendly, I want to assume you're never spending money, I want to assume you want some guaranteed success. And so that's why I want to bring up Razor. You can actually swap out Fischl for Razor, or honestly you could use both of them if you really want, and you can make a cracked team. Now, by summoning using your Primo Gems and the free Antiquated Fates and all that that you get with the game, you're going to start amassing the Masterless Star Glitter. It might take a little bit to get enough, but you can buy Razor for 34, guaranteed, and you've got a top tier DPS. He's probably A tier DPS, he used a big Claymore, and you can swap this out. Now, if that's the case, if we're saying, alright, no Venti, no 5 stars, we got no good characters, you can still make this team amazing. Let me show you. Our official has energy recharge increases that's gonna let her get her abilities back, and we're gonna swap over to Razor so he can do some major damage. Elemental Resonance gives you bonus effects if you've got multiple characters of the same element. So if we are doing Razor, Fischl, Shyling, and Barbara, we get high voltage. When you do a Superconduct, Overload, or Electro Charged, which is extremely easy to do for this team, you have a 100% chance to generate Electro Elemental Particles. Meaning that you can spam your abilities with Fischl, Razor, and they get some bonuses too. I... But on top of this, because they're electric particles, they get even more! So if we're using Fischl to spam area of effect nutty abilities, she can just constantly do it. I'm making this video because I did spend money. I have some other characters that I like to use more, and so Fischl is my main DPS, and we've swapped all my artifacts. So my damage might not look incredible in this footage, and, you know, some of my characters are underleveled. I could have a much better weapon on Razor, I could level him up a whole bunch, and so I want you to take this with a bit of a grain of salt, but I want to show you, you know, approximately how this will work. So before we get started, a couple things I want to explain. Razor in this situation is going to be our main DPS. 
Fischl and Jai Ling were just swapping to to put out their area of effect attacks uh, and, and their kind of passives. And then Barbara is going to be our healer. So we're going to swap Attacked. there every once in a while. Let's get started. Let's do this. Easy peasy. So um, we're going to just go through this area of effect. And we got the electro charged. And we're getting uh, a bunch of, of energy back already. But when we swap to Razor and we keep doing these electro charged things. Um, we're gonna see Fischl get her ultimate really quickly. So watch this. Electro Charge. We're doing these reactions. Look at that. Fischl almost has her ability back already, right? And so you can essentially spam uh, her bird. Her bird is gonna be running around doing this area of effect the whole time and just helping out the team. So that is really, really cool. Uh, really, really powerful. You can see every time we're doing this uh, electro charge thing, we're getting these cooldowns. I'm gonna do another one there. Look at that. So she is gonna be an area of effect turret the whole time. And then we've got our other girl, Shang Ling, who's gonna be able to put down some fire, some area of effect. You're gonna get those, um, those elemental overloads. And then we got our little healer. So it, it's the perfect little combo. Ah! Look at this freaking damage, baby! Ooh. Oh yeah! I'm, I'm smacking this abyss mage down and I'm low level! Are you kidding me? We're slaying! 